guys and welcome back to Natural Curly TV. Today I have got my good friend, personal trainer Jade here with me because she is going to show me and us how to do a home exercise program which is fantastic. Okay Jade, we just finished doing the warm up and I'm absolutely exhausted after that. I can't believe we've got a whole main workout to do yes. it as well. <laughs> Don't worry, be gentle. Be gentle. <laughs> so, I mean, my problem areas are, well, they're not problem areas, it's probably my genetics. It's my bum. <laughs> It's my bum. Okay. I don't really have much of a bum, but I really like to tighten that. Like okay. Just tighten that area. Up. All right then. And also, like, I never used to have these wings here before, which yeah, they seem to develop. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna tighten up the arms. Um, tighten up the booty. And around the midriff. Like around. The yes. Well. The midriff area as okay, well. Okay then. Right. So we start off with the big muscle groups first. Okay. okay. So whilst we still got the energy. Okay. Yeah. So let's start off with squats. Squats right. are very compound exercise. Yes. So what I want you to do is make sure your feet just outside, shoulder distance apart, your yep. toes are turned outwards just okay. slightly. Yep. When you come down, you want to make sure your knees are in line with the big toes. Okay. Like so. So when you come down, knees are in line with the big toes. You're squatting as if you're about to sit down on a chair. Okay, so again, so for you guys at home, I'm going to be facing the side so you can see what I'm doing. Okay. So you can do these without weights or if you have like some weights at home, some home weights at home, 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 home. <laughs> <laughs> you can use those, okay? If you don't, you can fill a rucksack, maybe put some books in there so you can add some weights, okay? It doesn't have to be expensive. That's good, be, be resourceful, that's, that's good. Right. Okay. <laughs> so we've got our squats here. I'd say let's do, we've probably done more than 10 now, but that's fine. Okay. I'd say squat for maybe a minute. Okay. That would be good. So you want to make sure you keep yeah. your knees soft. When you come to the top of your squat, we're not locking out the knees. Okay. Keep core engaged, you're nice and tight, the tummy, chest lifted. Let's do four more. Four, that's it, good. Three, hips right back, two, and one. Right. Okay, so we've just done some squats, okay, so that works around the bottom and the thighs. So this area here is another area a lot of ladies mm -hmm. like to work, around yes. the thighs. So what we're going to do is we're going to add on a leg raise. So you're going to squat and lift. So this is where you can get your own back on me now. <laughs> I don't like you for those exercises of pain you're putting me through. Okay, so you need squat and lift. And you should be feeling that working yep. side by side. I can. As well as through. How many are we going for we each go side? For 15. 15 side. Okay. How many um, kind of sets should we be doing? Should it just be. I'd say in the beginning, start off with one set. Yeah. Okay, and then I'd say after a couple of weeks and you're feeling a bit fitter, take that up to two. Okay. Okay. That's it. I'd say we've done 15 now. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> switch sides. So we're going to squat and lift. One. That's it. Two. Three. Four. Right there. Yes. Right there. Yeah. Five. Six. This is really good for me. Seven, Unfortunately, I wasn't blessed with um, eight hips in any way. Nine, so. <laughs> ten, oh, God. eleven, twelve, three more, three, oh. keeping the legs straight, two, Ooh. knees soft, Feeling one, good, okay, <laughs> so that's for that area there, yes. okay, so, okay, so from there, I'm going to take it into some lunges, okay, so for lunges, I'd like you to put your right foot forward, Left foot back, yep. tiptoe on the back, okay. and make sure you're standing on your train tracks and you're not standing on your tight ropes. You've got a little bit of stability there, you're not going to be wobbly. Okay. Okay. So, um, I'll show you from the side. All you right. guys at home, you guys can want to face the front. Okay, so when you come down, mm -hmm. you want to bend the back knee. Sorry. Oh god, this is going to be hard for me. I know it is because <laughs> I've got some weakness in this. <laughs> We're going to build Left up. Side. We'll build up. We'll build up. So what you're going to do is you're going to bend the back knee. The front knee will follow. So when you come down, you want to make sure that front knee is in line with the ankle. That's it. So the chest is lifted. Okay. That's it. 
So dropping right down into the back knee. Wow, I can feel that already. Yes. Good. <laughs> so stopping that back knee. Is my, is my back knee okay? Is it yeah, doing something? Yeah, it's perfectly fine. I can okay. see it just from here. All oh, right. Dropping down into that back knee. Perfect. That's it. So stay nice and high on the back leg. I'm feeling so that. Woo! That will burn. <laughs> Feel the burn. <laughs> Four more. You just lifted three. That's I am going to be aching tomorrow morning. I two. know that. <laughs> Give me one more. <laughs> Down this side and we're gonna lunge. That's it. Two. That's it. Now, when you come down, guys at home, try not to bend in the middle. You want to place all your upper body into that back thigh. That's it. Drop down and drop down. So you're nice and tall when we're coming up. Chest lifted. You will feel this one, guys. You will feel <laughs> this one. Oh my word. Okay, so I'm going through the technique of this exercise. <laughs> okay, keep going, Cara, I've keep going. Lost count, so <laughs> let's just do four more. Okay. So we've done 20 on each side. Three. Is it good? Two more. Two. Oh! <laughs> Last I'm having a baby! <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Well done, well done. Okay, so we've had a couple of exercises wow. in there for the legs. Just shake that out. <laughs> Keep moving around. So we come down to the mat. So you're going to put your hands forward. Okay. That's it. So we're in a box position. Yep. Okay. Okay. The back is nice and straight. So make sure you're not bowing. Keep this lifted, core engaged. Yep. Okay. And what we're going to do is we're just going to lift the Ooh, heel up. Bum work. That's it. <laughs> Keep it up. That's it. Lift. That's okay. it. And lift. Good. So you don't want to bring your leg down all the way to the floor. No, you just want to. You gotta to hold that at the top. When you, you get to the top, squeeze. Squeeze. That's it. So you want to squeeze the top. Five. Squeeze. Good. Six. Seven. Oh. Eight. Nine. Push up. That's it. Good. Your tummy lifted. Ten. Oh. Five more. Eleven. Good. Oh. Chest open. I'm shaking. Twelve. And you know I'm working. Thirteen. <laughs> 14 and one more 15. Oh, Great. Wow. Now we've got to balance that. Wow. We've got to have one bum cheek down there and one up there. <laughs> so let's do the other side. Okay. Okay. So we're going to push up, oh, keep wow. the tummy tight, tight, make sure you're not arching the lower back. Okay. Three, four, five. Good. Six, seven. Keep pushing up, toes back. Eight. Tummy lifted, square the hips, 9, 10, 11, 12, keep going, nearly there, 13, nearly there, 14, last one, 15. Oh wow. Great. A quick stretch. Oh. Jane, I was just going to ask, how important is it to keep this area nice and strong? Oh, it's very important, the core muscles, that it's like the, um, it's the main support for the spine, your yeah. core. Yeah. So you want to try and engage those core muscles with any exercise you yeah. do, because yeah. um, it keeps the focus in those muscles. Yeah. Um, and the last thing you want to be doing is putting unnecessary strain in the back yes. and other areas of the body. Yeah. So very important that you are engaging the core muscles. Yes. Yeah. Core muscles, so basically you can work your core muscles mm -hmm. through doing exercises like plank. Yeah. Um, there's lots of variations of plank mm -hmm. as well. Um, and they don't have to be static planks. There's mm -hmm. lots of other ways of doing them where you can be moving at set. I can show you a couple. Lots of different ways of doing planks. So I'll start with the easiest version. We have the elbows underneath the shoulders. Mm -hmm. Okay, and we're lengthening out like so. The neck is nice and long. So mm -hmm. you see that the, we're not bowing here. Yes. We're nice and tight here. Yeah. This is one option. Okay, so if you want to hold for 20 seconds, work mm -hmm. your way up to 30, work your way up to 40. Mm -hmm. Just hold for as long as you can. Yeah. More advanced option, of course, is to come up onto the toes. Yes. Okay, so okay. there's your plank. That's a static plank. Yeah. If you want to bring in a little bit more variation, mm -hmm. so what you can do is come down, come up, come down, come up. Oh wow. Like so. So the whole time you're keeping everything nice and tight. Yes. This is very good for strengthening the upper body as well. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so strengthening the upper body as well. Switch, 
like so. Mm -hmm. Do you want to give these a try? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> these. Okay, Ooh. so so you want to bring your body forward so your shoulders are over the wrists. Okay, okay. okay so keep your hands where they are, arms straight. That's it. And pull up here. There we go. Great. Okay. okay. So drop down one elbow and then the other. Great. And lift. Two. That's it. Two. Wow. And three. So you should be feeling that working in the arms. Yes, I can. Four. The shoulders. That's it. Oh. Five. So it's great for building our upper body strength as well. And seven. I have never done this before. I've always done just the static plank and then moving over to the left to the right. That's so fun. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> These are fun. <laughs> one more each side, one more. That's it. Now, when you um, you want to make sure you're balanced, and then you're going to want to do ten on the other side as well. <laughs> you ready? Oh gosh, let's start off with this arm then. Yes, please. So come down <laughs> on the elbow. One, two, and lift. Good. Make <sighs> sure you're keeping that core engaged, okay. nice and tight in the tummy. Two and three. Good. Nice and <gasps> four. Woohoo! Yeah. That's good. <laughs> Feel the burn. Five. <laughs> <sighs> And six, push up, you can do it, you're doing good. Feel that tightening up, feel that tightening up. Seven, well done. Eight, nearly there, two more, nine. Last one, ten. Oh, my word. Well done. <laughs> Woohoo! Okay, so you should have felt that working in your yes. body, working across here as well. Okay, there is another variation of plank we can do. Okay. Um, and it works side. Yes. So, side planks, I'm going to demonstrate. Okay, then. There's um, two options you can do for this particular exercise that I'm going to show you. So, you can start with the elbow propped underneath the shoulder. Yeah. We have the hip in line with the elbow, the knee in line with the hips. We've got mm -hmm. a nice straight line from elbows, hips to knees. Okay. Okay, so we start with the knee bent. Okay. This top leg just stretched out like so. You're going to reach and you're going to hold. So you can do these static or you can bring a little bit of movement and pulse. Okay. Okay, you will feel that working all along here. Yeah. For those of you who'd like just a little bit more advanced, what you can do is extend the bottom leg and lift up. So we're dropping and we're lifting. Okay, so that's going to work your core. You're going to feel that working all down the side. Okay. Okay, so there's our side planks with a pulse. Okay, let's give that a go. <laughs> See, because I've just on one side now, I'm going to sit around like this. You know. <laughs> okay. okay. So let's start with the easier option first. That's it, so we're going to bend the bottom knee. That's it, bend this bottom knee. Make sure it's back in line with the hips. That's it, top leg straight. Like so, and make sure the elbow is underneath the shoulder, perfect. Reach up and lift the hips from the floor. There we go. One, two, three, four, perfect. Five, six, seven, Eight. I'm smiling, but the table. So I just gave you ten for those. <laughs> so if, if you were, uh, you would normally do fifteen, would you? I would normally do fifteen, but if you're just starting out, try ten. Try ten. Okay. Ten would be a good number. All right. So okay, let me see if I can remember how to get myself into position. So, so you bend the bottom knee. Like that. That's it. Front leg, top leg, straight. This Make sure the knee, hip, shoulders all in line. That's looking good. Okay. okay arm reaches up. And lift. Two. I don't feel like I'm getting much of a lift just because of my core flexibility in that area. Okay, bring your hip down low to the floor. Okay. And then six and lift up a little bit higher. Lift. There we go. Eight. Oh. Yes. <laughs> oh, that's what I've been missing. <laughs> and ten. Well done. Eleven. Oh, oh sorry. <laughs> you can do fifteen. No. Okay, oh. so I've done a little bit of work for the sides. Okay. okay. Work for Front. Yes. So we're going to do a little bit of work for rotation now. Okay. Okay, okay so this next exercise yep. is working in a rotational plane. Okay, you see this arch in the lower back? Mm -hmm. You want to make sure that's pushed down firmly into the mat so we're supporting the lumbar region of the spine. So okay. supporting the lower back. Okay, so you lift one knee and then the other. So you see my hands are stretched out to make sure you're not relaxing them. You're keeping core engaged. Mm -hmm. Okay, the knees are bent. Set the arms out to the side. 
And what we're going to do is gently twist from the waist down and drop the knees from side to side, okay? But only halfway because you want to focus on keeping the shoulders down on the mat. Yeah. Okay, so this twisting movement is fantastic mm -hmm. for bringing the waist in. Oh, lovely. That's what okay. I mean. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I've got much hips, but I probably could just think about my waist. <laughs> Those of, the, of you who'd like to do a little bit more advanced, what you can do is extend the top leg as you come down. Extend, that adds a little bit more resistance. Okay, so extend and over. Okay. Do you want to give that a go? Okay. Okay. Well, see what I can do. <laughs> oh. Doing good. You're doing good. Okay. So we have the arms out to the sides. Now sit, knuckles up. Knuckles up. Sit. There we go. Right, so bend one knee and the other. See that arch in the lower back? Great, we're pushing down. Yep. And we want to lift one knee up and then the other. So we're going to lift the heels up just a little bit more there. Okay. okay. So keeping this down nice and tight. Okay. okay. So gently drop your knees towards me. So drop your knees oh. towards me. Sorry. That's, it, that's <laughs> fine. Okay, back to centre and then over to the other side. And back to centre. So big breath out, breathe out. And breathe out back to centre. Breathe out. Inhale here. Exhale. Breathe out. Right back. That's it. Lift. Heels lifted. That's it. Over. Okay. Another option. Bring your feet down to the floor. Okay. You can do this with your feet grounded. Okay. Oh gosh. Am I that mad? <laughs> it's an option for people to do at home. I have to show easy, medium, <laughs> difficult. So we drop the knees to one side. Okay. That's it together. Oh, there yes. we go. Okay. But you want to make sure you're twisting from the waist. There we go. That's so this it. really does force you to keep this part engaged, doesn't yes, it? Yes, it does. It really because does. So you want to make yeah, sure. 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 That's it. Not too far. I have to keep reminding myself. Not too far. Knuckles up. So we want to keep the shoulder blades down on the mat. If you feel your shoulders come up too high, got a little bit too far. Okay, so keep the lower back down. That's it, gently rolling. Okay, gently over. So you feel that working? Yes, here I can. Right? Okay. <laughs> Asking obvious questions. <laughs> shoulder down, keep shoulder down. So the key with this is you don't have to bring your knees all the way down to the floor. Just halfway will do. You want just enough to feel that working in the waist. Okay, let's do one more each side. That's it, keep that shoulder down on the mat. That's it, last one. Slowly over, okay. and that center stop, stop, stop. Ooh. Okay, how are you feeling? I'm feeling good, Jay. Why is it important that you maintain kind of like good breathing whilst you're exercising? It actually helps you through the exercise, yeah. and also you don't want to be holding your breath. Yeah. <laughs> That's not too healthy. Okay, it does help you. Yeah. you exhale on the effort. It helps you through the exercise. Okay. So it is very good to make sure you're not holding your breath. Mm -hmm. You're breathing comfortably. Yeah. Okay. So obviously you don't want to be too comfortable when you're exercising. You want to push yourself out of comfort zone yes. just a little bit. Exactly. Yeah. But breathing out mm -hmm. on the on the effort mm -hmm. does help you get through the exercise. So keep breathing whilst exercising, guys. Don't, don't go passing out. Don't go passing out. <laughs> <laughs> don't hold your breath. 